Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm your lovely host for the episode, Kelvin, and joining me, as always, is Roomba and Shenner. Hello. Hey there. Don't sound too excited, Roomba. How you doing? Is that better? How yeah, a little doing? bit. Christ. All right. So I just diverted the west, the west iron into uh, the steel in the hopes to alleviate our shortage. All right. So. Well, we went from uh, an iron shortage to an absolute iron overload. I love it. Yep. It, it seems to be like a cycle in this game. It, it really well, is. Yeah. Especially yeah, with multiple so. players, because we're all going to be constantly making stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, I doubled battery production because I need... I, I like the logistics network, so I'm starting to put stuff into the network so that we can do more requesting and actually get stuff done with robots. Cool. Oh, Basically, yeah, I, haven't, I'm, I haven't done anything with the logistics yet. What's being what's being uh, offered up in source boxes for the logistics to bring to us? Just hover over any logistics network chest and you can see in the logistics system storage on the right hand side of the screen. We got 2,000 green circuits, oh, 800 red circuits. We've got engines in there. Wait, um, if you Iron red plates circuits. or no, copper plates? Yeah, red yeah, circuits. I, Ooh. I have not gotten any copper added in anywhere, but um, sure, I'll take about four hundred of those. Also, I did set up right here in the center, right next to you, Shen. You can see it. These, uh, all four of the of the like the logistics system chests are automatically made. So That's fantastic. Request mm. like five of them each, and then you'll just always have logistics system type chests on you wherever you go. That is awesome. And it only makes 10, though. It only stores 10 in the system. So if you take a couple or use them, it'll have to rebuild them. But they're very expensive, so we don't want to have a ton of them. But it'll, yeah, oh, 10's a good start. Roomba. Like expensive has ever stopped us before. It has. Name one time. Uh, yesterday. Totally stopped me from thinking about going out on Black Friday. I don't think that was really relevant, but okay. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so if I switch over some of our chests that are lying around, I can make them into provider chests. Like, the lasers would be good as a provider chest. The ammo would be good as a provider chest. Stupid logistics robots, where's my provider chest? I told you to bring them to me. God, they're lazy. How many do you have out there anyway? Like, four? If you hover over the thing, you can see in the in the system, available robots, four. <laughs> that's, ah, the next thing, four. that's the next thing I'm working on, is I'm, more I'm adding robots. more robots to the system. Easiest way to do that is actually you put a requester chest next to one of the robo ports and have it request new robots, and then you have made robots made somewhere, and then you'll have a robot bringing a robot to a chest, which then gets put into the robo port, which then automatically adds it to the network. Oh, it's amazing! So I'm about to set that up. I just got robots being made. So robots are making robots. We're about we're about to have like a thousand robots flying everywhere. Whoa. This sounds Whoa. like the beginning of Skynet. It is basically. Robots uh, hopefully, are now making robots. Hopefully the game doesn't start to lag because of it, but... Why is it, a Roomba, that every time you do something, the first concern is, crap, is this going to make everything lag? I'm just okay. saying. And Part of the reason why we have so few robots well. is that I took a bunch of them to the iron ore area to actually... They're they're doing a lot of the work of actually keeping that lo that track laid down load laid down. What's the yeah, word I'm looking for? Laid. L a i d laid. It's very full. Is my point. Yeah. I haven't used robots in a long, long time. No, I think my my second game was the only game that I used robots. After that, I just I said nah. It was too too cheap, too easy. <laughs> But they're I love so robots. convenient. They're so convenient. So you've already done a second game? Uh, yeah, I think I'm on game number seven now. I love starting new games of this. Oh, okay. It's like Christ. 
God. All right, I'm all just right. gonna dump all the ore. I don't need that. Okay. Building stuff. I'm increasing steel production. There is a one. There's one mod that I think is really good. That I'm almost considering downloading is. Uh, there's a mod that allows makes it so that you cannot pick up robots that are flying in the air. It really annoys me when like you're trying to make, build stuff and they're bringing all kinds of crap to you, and then you just can't. Like it's just too much stuff. Oh, really. Really, you stupid fucking long-armed inserter things? <laughs> Calm down, Calvin. It's, it's just, ugh. So what's the difference between an active provider chest and a passive provider chest? You an, a an active provider chest, basically, whatever is in it will be tried to put into storage or to a requester chest. So if nothing's requesting it, it will be sent to storage. A passive provider chest will send stuff to requester chests, but it will not be sent to storage. Makes sense. So if you have an item that like you, you want it part of the network, but you want it to stay where it is, you use a passive provider. If you have like if you'll notice in the train station, all of the chests that the iron ore is offloaded into are active providers. It's mm -hmm. put it in and then get it out because we need it. We need these clear for in incoming ore. So it's just basically priority. Um. No, it, it's not just priority. It's also like, where do you want the stuff to be? Do you want it to stay here or do you want it to be put somewhere else? I guess. Like, if you put a whole bunch of storage chests in the center of the factory, then that's where all the material will end up going. Uh, let's see. Well, we now have 21 robots in the actual primary factory. I'm going to go put 14 in the iron ore area. Hmm. <laughs> what? Just, just, <laughs> that's all. What? Just mm hmm. What? 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 I can't say mm hmm. What? Uh -oh. Uh oh. Damn it, Arumba! Damn it, Arumba! You had to say um, mm hmm. Why do you blame me? There's no, there's no knowing that it's my fault. Because the, the last, the last three times it's been you, mm -hmm. and the, the three times before that it was you as well, and the three times before that. Arumba, you're the only one who desyncs. It is. I blame you. the robots. I don't think it's me. There's no way of knowing who it is. <laughs> uh, it's, honestly, it's probably Calvin. You're the one with the crappy internet. If that were the case, I'd be fucking disconnecting. Maybe you are. No, it clearly states a Roomba. Damn it. <laughs> like, desync player a Roomba will reconnect. Well, fine. It's possible. Just saying. I just hope that it doesn't do that thing where it does it over and over again. Uh, well. Yep, oh. it is. Huzzah! It's a, a Roomba, Roomba again. And you sound, you sound like a robot, Roomba. Right now? Yeah. Mm. Well, let me let me try downloading it here one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'll just okay. re quit and re reconnect directly. Okay. You're not like using your internet to make popcorn or anything, are you? No. Heard that okay. does bad things for your speed. Well, the factory's getting pretty large. I wouldn't be surprised if 
the larger it gets, the more desync issues we have. Yep, continuing to do the same thing over and over again. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm going to try to join it. CRC mismatch. I agree. So, All right. did, did, so what, what happened? Did you just close the game? Yeah, the game crashed. Oh. Okay, player rumba was dropped. Just Unlaws. come on back when you can. I'll have to edit these because uh, your, no, I I, your IP I address can't do anything right. as the host. That's the problem with uh, people dropping. Is that All right, let me get a save. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. Oh, now it says sending map to peers. Yeah, I'm trying to connect again. Is that what I was supposed to do? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll uh, give it a shot. Might work. He was hoping. Christ. These tech issues. So in one of my factories, right, I had like 900 robots. And I was trying to make them do everything. Like, <laughs> there were no, no transport belts anywhere. My first anywhere. question, what was your frame rate? Pretty good. Mm. Yeah, the, the robots don't really cause much lag. I'd I haven't noticed any lag. I, did, I didn't have anything like 900. I probably had maybe 200 at the most. But yeah, they're, they're so convenient. <laughs> it feels like cheating because basically you don't have to hook anything up to anything ever. Mm -hmm. You delightful. just have a box. And the box has, you, you can put the uh, raw materials in the box for a factory. You can put the finished product in the same box for the factory. They'll do anything. They'll do whatever. They don't care. So They're basically, awesome. you just have all of your raw shit go into a central box. And then just have factory surrounding it and have the robots bring it to and from. Yep. Yep. I, it says I'm in, but it's just a black screen. Yeah, yeah, let yeah me, that's, I figured let that me, was Let me get a save. And we'll, we'll try again. All right, we'll be back in a bit, folks. Bye-bye. And bring it back to the base. And All we're right. back. We're and back, everybody. Difficulties. Hey. There's no such right. thing as technical difficulties. There's happy little accidents. It's That's all. Mostly caused by a Roomba. So we actually have 8,000 iron ore in storage. We're not processing the iron ore. No kidding. Nearly. Do, you have any, do you have any extra um, robo ports? I have one. Because the uh, eastern part of our factory is not covered. All right, I'll go work on that. Because I have, let's see, yeah, in the northeast, the red track, the red track should probably have, it's got a chest for it, but doesn't have coverage. And then the ammo bin in the far east has no coverage. And I was going to build a roboport, but I need to find some plastic first. Where do we have plastic? What the hell was I doing before Roomba's internet contact? Plastic, plastic used to work um, right near the oil, but then it got moved. Plastic is just made down by the circuits, the red circuits. Oh. And it's not stored at all. It's just all going towards plastic or towards circuit production right now. Okay. We should at least have a chest down there to uh, provide it. There's an act there's a requester chest down there, but Why no uh thing? Well, now there's a provider chest down there. I'll store five hundred. Cool. But again, it's not covered. It's out of range. <laughs> of course, um, it's out of range. One, one thing I'd recommend, if you're going to do requesting on materials, don't usually go more than like 20 or 50. Because the way that the logistics network works is that, let's say that um, uh -oh, you have a requester. your northwest iron again. All right, looks like they got him. We got to take out that nest up there, man. But say that you have a requester chest that like needs 500 of an item and you have the technology that allows robots to carry five items at once, then that chest is going to request 500 divided by five. It's going to request 100 robots to go get that material all at once. So it'll overwhelm the network and nothing will get done but that one job until that job is satisfied. Whereas if you have only, say, 20 requested It'll still keep the chest full. Like there'll always be robots bringing stuff, but they'll be able to do other jobs too. Does that make sense? Something about corn. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Okay, totally. good. I'm glad I followed. Good. Not at all. What I said. 
it kind of just blended into a monotonous blur. You got to use the uh, wow words, you know? Yeah, everybody needs to work on a speech craft. He's so boring. Speech craft. That's what Oblivion taught me to call it. Oh god, Oblivion was such a horrible game. <laughs> Especially the speech craft. Uh, I still need 40 more. Jesus, this plastic is so slow. We need more petroleum gas. So what's what's the holdup on petroleum gas? We have a little bit, but we don't actually have enough. That's a good question. What is holding us back? You the crude the hey, Oh, the crude is low. We're running out of crude. Yeah. You were making lasers over here in the science area, but there's no steel. There was steel. Why is there no steel? All right, I'll let you look at the steel. I'll look at the oil. Something's wrong with the oil. Okay. Yeah, the oil pipeline, instead of being at 10, is only at 6. Not enough oil coming in. Out of my way, pipes. All right, do we have any untapped oil? Probably. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, there's oil everywhere. Okay. Uh, what's untapped? I know the stuff in the north is tapped, and the stuff in the center is tapped, and the stuff in the southeast is tapped. Is there anything else that's not tapped? Oh, no. I don't see anything. Ah, okay. Up in the far, far north, we can go get some. Wow, that's a long way up there. It might be better if we go take out that nest. Kelvin, you were scouting around that nest in the southwest. How bad was it? Uh, it was about six nests. I didn't see any particularly uh, bad they things didn't, like worms. Didn't have any big worms? Okay. No. You want to come with me and take it out? Uh, just a second. I just about got some additional stuff hooked up here. And do we have any pump jacks in storage? Probably not. Alright, let me make some of those. Yeah, steel is coming to a provider chest. Arumba, you cut off the steel line. The steel line no longer goes anywhere. It stops at a provider chest. Where? Right here, south of the oil factory. You put a provider chest here for steel. So the south? steel line no longer goes anywhere. Right here. No, that never did go anywhere. Really? I thought this went over to the steel area. No. No, okay, this, so this, this steel was being used to make engines. Okay, okay. So where is the... Uh, steel that was coming for the uh, blue science and all that stuff. That came from the right. From the far, far right. That okay, was that was, that was Kaelin's Kaelin's area. Initial... So what's up with that? It's still working. All of his furnaces are functioning. So what's up? Is the steel just getting uh, split off too much? Well, we've got uh, 285 piercing shotgun shells. Those, those and, have been there forever. And we've been making lots of science, but aside from that, let me prioritize this. All right, I finally set it up so we're capable of expanding the solar electrical grid. Good. Right. Would you like a metal? No, I would just like a roboport in this desert. Oh, how convenient. There's a roboport in this desert. <laughs> Excellent. By the way, I'm borrowing most of the space in the desert. There we go. Someone just dis disconnected all the power to the right. I will hook it up. Sorry, I was moving uh, splitter. There we go. Yeah, see, it happens to the best of us, right? What do you mean the best of us? I'm an idiot. He's got a well, point. You said it, not me. Well, yeah.
Okay, there we go. So, they'll eventually bring the solar panels around, even uh, even if they're like three RoboPorts away, right? Yes, as long as the uh, networks are connected. The okay. orange part has to touch for it to actually uh, work. But as long as they touch, then you're good to go. Oh no, the orange part doesn't actually touch. Well, there you go. That's what's missing. Hey, remember, can we get a RoboPort up in the north? Where? Uh, between the one in the desert and the one connecting the rest of the base. I don't want those connected. Oh, you don't? No, I'm, it's two separate logistics networks. Oh, the, prob good. the problem is that if I, if I let you connect the logistic network that's around the train station to the logistic network yeah. around the main factory, all of the logistic robots that are dedicated towards moving iron will go and do other jobs. And they need to do iron. That is their job. It's just iron. Damn. So I makes can't sense. mass build solar panels up here. Um, yeah. Yeah, basically. But there's tons of space to the northwest. We can extend the, the network up there. But sure. that, the network around the station needs to be separate. All right. You know here, what? Fuck it. I don't even need to delete the blueprint. It'll delete itself. It will. This, screw it. There, I extended it to the northwest by quite a bit. Excellent. We'll clear out all these trees for you. You're not going to clear trees manually, are you? You're not thinking about it, are you? Nope. Don't even. That's what robots are for. You gotta embrace are, your laziness. Are you a robot? Um, me? I'm a Roomba. Ah. So that's a yes. The floor cleaning robot, yes. Alright. How can I hook this back up? Hmm. You have like a million robots waiting to get the electric charge at this RoboPort. Wow. Which which uh, which RoboPort? The uh, central one next to all the uh, furnaces. Well, they're just, just being, the, they're just being dumb then. There was like a hundred of them just sitting there. It's like, can I get charged? But you can only charge like two or three at a time, so they're all waiting. <sighs> Stupid robots. Um. I can rotate this. Ah, finally, here they come. That might be best. Wow, that's um, a lot of solar panels. Yep. I have enough in storage, so it'll be fine. Maybe I should hook it up somewhere else. Oh, oh, um, yeah, that'll work right there. Um, maybe. Let's do that. Something is being destroyed. Lasers. Where? Find it. Fix it. Help it. I, I can't. Do the it's thing. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Arumba. It's too far away. You can do it, Arumba. You need to do it, Arumba. I can't. It's too far away. Fine, I'll go do it, you lazy bastard. Wait, where's stuff being destroyed? I see stuff being attacked, not destroyed. It's not even lasers, it's a frickin' wall. Oh. I thought it was in the north, uh, west or whatever. Turns out I was wrong. Look at your map. Alright. So... Am I, the only, am I the only one who's going to come kill these aliens invading our base? Yeah, pretty Probably. much. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you guys are horrible. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not going to even try to disagree with that. Yeah. I might be horrible, but uh, I'm not a liar, so I accept. Alright. Oh, that one was actually in the base. Huh. Yeah, well, they chewed through the wall. That's what the happens. Alright, so I see those being moved. Do we have... Uh, no, it does not look like we have electric poles being built anywhere. Damn. 
Oh well, start building a max booze. Where the hell did that the guy come in? I don't know. He came I don't from like the, it. He came from the east, but I don't actually see a hole in the wall. I might be blind. Probably. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, that was. We gotta take a break. Do we it's have time. to? We don't have but, to. But but mom. Do you want, but if, if I don't, then my file size gets too big on, on this, and then I have to. Oh, there's the hole. Found it. Fixed oh, it. Oh heaven forbid! You have to spend like ten seconds running a program. It's not ten seconds. It takes an hour. It takes a long time. You don't understand. Really? Because I when 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 I have to join M my uh, fucking things, it's like ten seconds. Just well, to join two things. Two well, things. you must must use a different program then. Yeah, yeah. I he uses just... the one that's called uh, in a in a in a decently timed fashion. Right? You pay extra for that though, so it gets done no, quickly. It's free. No, it's not. You're right. It's actually not. It came with like five hundred Trojan viruses when I downloaded. There we go. <laughs> It was far from free. All right. Uh, let's end it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Chen. They've been them. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See you soon.